Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melinda Gray, if you are new here. If you are, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss another video from me. Yeah. Let's get into today's topic. So today's video is going to be all talking. Um, after I posted my last video and kind of mentioned my breast augmentation surgery, I've had a lot of questions regarding like the cost, the type of implant I'm getting, the size, recovery, everything like that. So I decided to make a whole video just on my surgery and kind of cover um, from the very start, like when I decided that I wanted to get this done and then up until my surgery, that's in two days, which is so crazy. So we're gonna cover everything, cost, size, implant type, recovery, surgeon, like the surgery day, like the schedule, everything like that. Yeah, let's do it. First things first, we're going to talk about my doctor that I chose, um, how I chose him. So this was a very long process. Um, <laughs> I decided that I wanted to get it done during my off season. Um, so I started looking before my last show of 2020. Um, and I didn't know um, anything really. I didn't know of any doctors to go to or anything like from Pennsylvania because I didn't want to travel very far with it being surgery and having to drive home or whatever. So um, I went to a total of I think five different surgeons, like talked to them, went in for consultations. I did a few online as well. Um, but I went with somebody that's in Greensburg. His name is Dr. Francis John. Uh, I went in. Felt completely confident in what he was saying. He answered all of my questions, and I had a lot of questions. Um, he made me feel confident in his work, confident with what I went with, and just super excited for the surgery to happen. Um, and he's very, he's pretty close to where I live, so it's not gonna be a hard drive. I'm not driving, guys, don't worry. My parents are gonna be there, but I don't wanna drive like four hours in a car when I just had surgery, because I just don't, and I've never had surgery, so I don't really know what to expect. So yeah, so Dr. Francis John in Greensburg is going to be my surgeon on Monday. I'm super, super, super excited. So now we're gonna talk about what implants I decided to get. So I am only 20 years old. Um, I'm turning 21 five days after my surgery. So for my 21st birthday, I'm going to be on my couch laying there. Birthday boobs. Anyway. Uh, I thought that I was only allowed to get the saline ones because everywhere that you read online, under 22 you have to get saline, but that isn't true. I found out from every single doctor that I talked to because I told them, like, I'm in bodybuilding, I really want silicone because I get lean, I lift, um, and I just, with getting leaner, the saline kind of look like balloons, um, and I want them to look like real boobs. So I am getting the silicone, I'm getting the gummy bear ones. Um, I forget the exact name of the implants. I'll put it up on here that I'm getting. Um, it's like the newest one. It's the best one. It looks the most real. Um, and when I get lean, it won't look like a balloon. It'll look like real actual boobs. So yeah, I am going with silicone. Um, saline's not bad either. Uh, but the silicone are better. Like every doctor recommended those over saline, which is awesome because that's what I wanted. Um, I just didn't know because I'm so young if I could get them, but I can, so. Silicone, the gummy bear ones. All right, let's talk size. Um, so I went to each surgeon and told them that I wanted a full C. So currently I'm only an A. Um, even eight weeks post, well, over eight weeks post show actually, um, nothing has went to my boobs yet. Um, nothing will ever go to my boobs. And yeah, that bothers me. So here I am. Um, so like I said, I went in saying that I wanted a full C. They don't go by cup sizes though, they go by CCs. So I am getting a 420 CCs, yeah. Um, so I don't know exactly what size I'm going to be, like regarding cup sizes, I'm probably gonna be either a full C or like a D. Sounds crazy, I know, crazy. But I'm gonna show you pictures of the implants in a bra right now over top of this. Doesn't look too crazy, it just looks like I'm a woman. Um, it's great, I love it, I'm so excited. Just like looking at these pictures, it gets me pumped, but yeah. So, 420 cc's is what I went with. Um, and you know, I just told myself like, if I'm going to pay what I paid for these, and yeah, I did pay this all by myself, um, I'm going to make them like actually there. Like I could have just got like a little bit and had like the full B, but you know, 
I've wanted boobs my whole life, so here we go. We're going all in. <laughs> so how much are my boobs costing? Um, mine are mine were sixty eight seventy five total. Um, so that's for the anesthesia. That's for the surgery center, surgery. Um, and I paid that in full. I paid it January fourth. It was all due because I paid in cash. So paid everything by myself. I've been saving for it. Um. So, yeah, all me. I did this myself, paid for it, very proud. Um, um, so, yeah, 7000 And that varies depending on like, what implants you're getting. So, if you get saline, it's a lot cheaper. And then the silicone is more expensive. And then it just depends on the surgeon as well. Um, they can go up to like 11000 They can be down around like the lower 6000s as well. Um, but... Like I said, I was going to go with the best surgeon for me, no matter the cost. And if I didn't have the money, I would have waited to have the money because it's my body and I want the best for my body. So, 7000 it is. But that's also not cost, like that's not counting like the medication I had to pay for. The, um, I have to wear like compression socks and stuff like that. So like the extra expenses, but the surgery itself is like... 68.75, so 7,000. Recovery, um, so my surgery's on Monday. So today's the 23rd, it's Saturday. Um, I have a post-op appointment on Tuesday and they like take the wrap off and like put me in like a bra or something like that. But um, I think after two weeks, I'll be able to like walk like on a treadmill. Um, four weeks, I get to start doing some more things, but I will not be able to lift actually until like six weeks post operation. Um, that seems like a really long time, but I'm going to take recovery like very, very serious. Like I'm not going to try to rush anything. I'm listening 100% just because if I rush things, then I'm going to end up hurting myself longer, like in the long run. So six weeks of no lifting, um, might go like, might go insane, might go crazy. But that's okay. Um, I'd rather just sit, sit it out for six weeks than not be able to lift ever because something went wrong. So yeah, it's usually like four to six weeks. Um, pain, what I've read and like what I've talked to is really not that bad after like the first or second day. Um, but I won't be able to, like I'll be like this. I won't be able to like lift my arms, but and I have to like sit up, I have to sleep up for two weeks um, and I can't cuddle my cat. But besides that, I mean, I, I will be okay probably like feeling good after a week. I just can't rush into it if I am feeling good. But yeah, four to six weeks until I'm like fully, fully, fully recovered. Last thing I'm going to cover is kind of, I'm gonna talk you through like the schedule of how quick Monday is going to go. Um, I am going to vlog as much as I can, but um, this is my first surgery and the first time I've had like anesthesia or anything like that. So I don't know how loopy I'm going to be or like how out of it I'm going to be. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to record it all after surgery that day. So I kind of want to give you like a little idea of what's happening. So tomorrow's Sunday. Holy crap. Tomorrow's Sunday. Yeah. So tomorrow's Sunday, which means that I sleep tonight, sleep tomorrow night, and then it's surgery day. Holy cow. So tomorrow, I like I can't eat certain foods, I can't take supplements, um, stuff like that. That's been for like a few weeks now. Um, so I can't eat past midnight tomorrow. Um, I have to be at the surgery center at 11 o'clock in the morning because they have to do like a pee test, like a urine test, and just kind of do whatever they have to do. I'm gonna talk to the surgeon, everything like that. Um, Surgery will start at 12, and then the surgeries usually only last around 35 to 45 minutes, which is super speedy. They just put them in there, um, and then I'm out. Um, and then they said that I probably won't get to leave until like an hour, hour and a half after that, just because it is my first time on anesthesia. They want to make sure that I'm all good, make sure everything's perfect, and then I'll get to leave. And then I'm home and it's done and I'm, yeah. So it's gonna be like a, ow, there's one in my eye, like a three to four hour process all together. And then I'm gonna drive there, be there at 11 with no boobs. And then by like one o'clock, I'm gonna have boobs. Crazy stuff. 
And well, yeah, that, that's kind of it for the video. It's gonna be like a few minutes long, but I had a lot of questions on everything that I just covered. So I wanted to get it out there before I had them done because you know, whatever. Um, yeah, so if you have any more questions about it or anything like that, just message me, comment down below anything, you know, because I want to document the journey just because I liked watching all the vlogs on it because it really helped me. So I'm gonna to try to do the same and document everything that I can. So I will catch you guys in the next video. I'll might I might look a little different. Love y'all. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe.